what you got to play. Generic drops for days. There's something special about being the United States champion. Sure, there's a long list of legends who have held this title, and that's great. But it's also how this title has been defended that makes it so special. It's a tradition that started with John Cena, and I've decided that I'm going to continue that tradition. Now, I'm not going to let this title sit on a shelf and collect dust. Oh no, I'm going to defend it every chance I get. That's why starting tonight, I'm bringing back the U.S. title open challenge. So whoever's ready to step up and face me, come on out right now. Who's going to be the first superstar to answer Buzz's U.S. title open challenge? Opponent. Wow, these two have a little bit of history. Revenge fuel Buzz and his invasion of NXT. Will it fuel Gargano to victory tonight? You have to wonder after the grueling victory over Bobby Roode combined with back-to-back -back weeks of defending the U.S. title, is this starting to take a toll on the champion? It has to be, Cole. I'm telling you, he's not used to this type of schedule. Who will answer his U.S. title open challenge? It's the masked attacker! We haven't seen him since he wrestled Buzz in NXT! Well, that's not Baron Blade unless he very quickly shed about 40 pounds. Well, maybe Baron Blade has been hitting the gym. Maybe he's been on the Saxman diet since we last saw him. I don't think so, Byron. No one wants to be on your stupid diet. Sammy Zayn! I knew it! You thought it was Baron Blade. Leave it to Sammy to pull off some generic stunt like this. Kevin Owens from behind. KO and Sammy Zayn are formally welcoming Buzz to SmackDown Live. It appears the on again, off again relationship between Sammy Zayn and Kevin Owens is on again and these two will do anything when it comes to winning championships buzz wants to have a few words with kevin owens and Sami Zayn after what happened last week all right i know you guys prefer to gang up and jump people from behind but if you want a fair fight step up and answer my u.s title open challenge one on one and not hide behind some mask either that mask was hilarious sammy what are you talking about? That was not me. Sammy, he pulled your mask off. Everyone saw it was you. You should have seen the look on your face when he came out wearing that thing. Allegedly. 
Okay, whenever you guys are done recalling the spineless actions from last week, you know where to find me. Before you get too involved with these idiots or have any more open challenges, don't forget you still owe me a rematch for that U.S. title. He's right. Guys, we're going to have to settle this some other time. Looks like I already have a match tonight. I don't care what he said. We're settling this tonight. What have Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn done to Bobby Roode? I don't know, but apparently this is what KO meant when he said they were settling this tonight. Let's wait until we hear what happened before we rush to judgment. Despite the use of some underhanded tactics, Kevin Owens will get a shot at the United States title. And that match starts right now. Buzz might be in danger of losing his U.S. title here. Wait a minute. It's Bobby Roode. He has some unfinished business with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Now all four superstars are taking out their frustrations on each other. Hey, that's enough. If you four want to fight so bad, then we'll have a match. Tonight, in the main event, it will be Buzz and Bobby Roode versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Wow, what a main event we'll have for you later tonight on SmackDown Live. When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. We have a team led by one of our breakout talents against Team Kevin Owens. I cannot wait. A single minute of this one was memorable. Here are your winners, Bass and Bobby Roode. That's it for this tag team match, and what a thrilling match it was. Now you just got to take the win and build off it. And folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory. Welcome back to SmackDown Live, where it appears Shane McMahon is now trying to sort out last week's U.S. title mess. We've been waiting a long time for this one. The championship is up for grabs right here. Next, we have a real fan favorite versus Kevin Owens. Two of the best superstars in the WWE battling for that crown. Kevin Owens looks to be in trouble. Wait a minute. What's Bobby Roode doing out here? Uh-oh. In a super kick. Well, he's obviously upset he didn't get his United States title rematch, and he's taking out his frustrations on whoever gets in his way. Oh, look at this. Uh-oh. DDT. Spike. Kevin Owens just beat Buzz again. I'd hardly call that a win. This whole situation is still a giant mess. Hopefully we'll get some kind of resolution to this next week because it definitely didn't happen tonight. Welcome to SmackDown Live, where the United States Champion is about to address the WWE Universe. And luckily, it looks like Buzz was able to get his title back after last week's shenanigans. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just say shenanigans? Yeah, oh, what's wrong with that? My time as United States Champion hasn't quite gone as I planned, to say the least. I wanted to defend the title and give you hard-fought, competitive, and fair matches every week, but that's been impossible lately, thanks to Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Bobby Roode. That's why I'm out here to say... I'm tired of the constant interference and everyone thinking they deserve a U.S. title shot. So I'm proposing that Kevin Owens and Bobby Roode settle it in the ring to see who the real number one contender is. Oh, and one more thing. I'll be at ringside to make sure Sami Zayn doesn't affect the outcome of this match in any way, shape, or form. The United States Champion has weighed in on how he thinks this tumultuous situation should be settled. Let's see if Daniel Bryan agrees with him. Thank you for saying what needed to be said. In recent weeks, 
through no fault of your own, the United States title has been dragged through the mud by your opponent. So I'm backing your decision and making it official. Triple H on SmackDown? What's he doing here? I don't know. I just have a feeling he didn't stop by just to say hi. I know you're still relatively new to WWE, Buzz, so let me fill you in on something. You may have gotten lucky by winning the U.S. title, but that doesn't mean you get to call the shots around here. I call the shots. Um, Hunter, can we talk about that for a second? Because last time I checked, your brother-in-law Shane and I are in charge of SmackDown. Not you. So actually, we call the shots. Ooh, this is getting good. Shut up and listen to what I'm about to say because it is a lesson that you and everyone else needs to learn. I have influence far greater than anything you could imagine. Whatever I say goes. No questions asked. I say build it and it's how fast do you need it. I say make the match and the only questions are when and where. I say fire someone and WWE wishes them luck in their future endeavors. All anyone else has is the illusion of power. You call the shots because I let you call the shots. Now, if you have a problem with any of that, I can make one call and you'll be struggling to put food on your family's table. You need us. We don't need you. Are we clear? Yeah, we're clear. Good. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, the US title picture. I have a better idea for how to settle all of this. At Money in the Bank, you won't even need to be pinned to lose your US title. Because it's gonna be a fatal four-way match of you versus Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Bobby Roode. Breaking news. I told you. Get money in the bank. I'd never forget what you did. We're gonna have a new champion. The wait is over. This one's for all the marbles, and it's coming up next. Buzz did it, much to Triple H's disappointment. He somehow beat the odds to win the fatal four-way match. I told you he had a chance to win. Are you shocked, Corey? Yes, I'm shocked that for once, you were right. <laughs> hey, that Money in the Bank ladder match was awesome. Congrats on walking out with the briefcase. Thanks. To be honest, it's gonna be kind of annoying carrying this around with me. And seeing as you're the rookie, how about you carry it around for me? <laughs> no thanks. I already got my hands full. Huh. I'll remember that. The United States Champion is here on SmackDown Live, fresh off a successful title defense at Money in the Bank. Up next is the long-awaited championship match. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date. Against Team Kevin Owens. High stakes, don't miss it. Has Buzz pulled off the impossible? Oh, no, he hasn't. I told you, these two would be on the same page. What the? RKO out of nowhere! Where did Orton even come from? Taking advantage! Shoulders are down! We got a new champ! Oh my gosh! It took a couple of tries, but with the help of an old friend, Triple H finally got what he wanted. You guys are burying the lead here. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are your new United States champion. Buzz never had a chance. With Orton interfering, it was essentially three on one. Four on one if you include Triple H. Your opponent tonight has been creating quite the buzz of his own recently as one of this country's hottest new stars. So I'm excited to see you two face each other for the very first time in Japan. 
We heard Daniel Bryan had a surprise opponent lined up, and he definitely delivered. Yeah, for those of you watching this WWE.com exclusive, get ready to witness something special. To catch everyone up to speed, Cole Quinn and Buzz have a long history on the indie circuit. Most recently, they invaded NXT with the now disgraced Baron Blade. Since then, Cole's made a name for himself in Japan, while Buzz has done the same on SmackDown Live. By the look on Buzz's face, he probably didn't expect to see his friend in the ring again anytime soon. Nonetheless, we're all lucky to see it happen. What started in high school gyms in the U.S. has now added a new chapter in Japan. This is truly a special moment. And this is only our first night here. We will get to see Buzz versus Nakamura. And then there's the WWE Network special from the Dome. I'd do this for free. Don't give him any ideas, Byron. Thanks again for joining us from Japan for this WWE.com exclusive. It said you had a successful Japanese debut last night. But tonight, you face the king of Songstar in his kingdom. And you will be lucky to go back to America with all your teeth. Does it really say all that? More or less. Talking about making an impression on your first tour of Japan. Not only was Buzz able to pull out a victory, he did it on Nakamura's home turf. That's impressive. You may have gotten that win tonight. But next time, it ends definitely. Me. To face. We hope you enjoyed this WWE.com exclusive. Be sure to join us tomorrow on the WWE Network as we bring you a huge special event live from Japan. Hey. Go get your wrestling gear on. Why? I thought I didn't have a match tonight on the network special. After what I saw you do against Cole Quinn and then Shinsuke, you do now. I'm changing the scheduled AJ Styles versus Nakamura match to a triple threat, and you're the third participant. So I get to wrestle at the Dome? On the network special? Tonight? Yes, but not if you don't get ready, so go. Now! Go! AJ hits the forearm. He got all of it. Buzz tosses Styles out of the ring. Can he steal this one? This is a career-defining win. I'd say it's a career-defining Japanese tour. He deserves to celebrate. Buzz capitalized on an opening to pin Nakamura. Capitalize is a nice way to put it. He stole the win from AJ. Wow, coming from AJ in Japan? That means a lot. Apparently, he's earned AJ's respect. If these two have formed an alliance, that could have huge repercussions going forward. Without a doubt. Well, that does it for us from the Dome in Japan. Thank you so much for those of you who woke up early to catch us live on the WWE Network. Yeah, now go get some sleep. Sayonara, everyone. Stop pandering, Byron. How are you feeling after that big trip? A little jet lag? Yeah, a little. I mean, can't complain though. Look, I just wanted to say maybe I could have shown you a little bit more respect in the past. You obviously proved in Japan that you deserve it. Hey, 
Don't worry about it. I know you got the whole rookie treatment when you first got to WWE too. I definitely did. Maybe I was just doing the same thing to you without even thinking about it. We're cool now though, right? I don't know why John Cena is here, but I do know that Buzz will be in action. Coming up next on SmackDown Live. Well, now we have an idea why John Cena is here tonight. Because he had an issue with Aiden English's singing? Cena might not be a fan of the Drama King, but my guess is it has more to do with wanting to get a closer look at SmackDown Live's hottest superstar, Buzz. Take it easy, partner. I'm not out here for a fight. At least not yet. I'm here because I've heard all the buzz. You gotta see this guy who's blowing up on the indies. You gotta see this guy who invaded NXT and stuck it to Triple H. You gotta see this guy who won the US title and defended it in an open challenge week after week. Hmm, I wonder where he got that idea. You gotta see this guy who went to Japan and beat Nakamura and AJ Styles in the Dome of all places! Now most people would get caught up in all that, but not me. You see, I've been around for a while. And so many times I've heard all the buzz, and then when it comes time for me to actually see what's behind the buzz, it doesn't measure up to the hype. So I'm out here tonight because I want to know, do you measure up, Buzz? Well, this might come across as arrogant, but I believe I measure up to every bit of the hype. No, oh, that's good. You should be confident in yourself. But I also understand it's one of those need to experience it firsthand to believe it sort of things. So if you truly want to find out if I measure up, how about you and me go one-on-one -on -one at SummerSlam? After that, all your questions will be answered. Let's do it. If anyone knows anything about having immediate success in the WWE, it's me. After all, I was the youngest world heavyweight champion in history at the age of 24. But unlike you, Buzz, I didn't rely on cheap gimmicks like viral videos or invading someone else's show to make it to the top. No, I did things the right way. But that's not what gets rewarded these days, is it? No, now you get hot on the indies, show up, win a few matches on SmackDown, they get handed a main event match in one of the biggest shows of the year. Well, I am sick of it. I am sick of it. I should be facing John Cena at SummerSlam, not you. That is my spot. Look, I could give you an entire list of reasons why I'm facing John Cena at SummerSlam. But instead, let me give you one reason why you're not facing Cena. Because we've seen that match over and over and over again. The WWE Universe wants something new and exciting, not Cena versus Orton part 589. 
I don't give a damn what the WWE Universe wants. Oh yeah? Well, I do. And since we have unfinished business after you cost me the US title, how about we give them a match they've never seen before? You versus me, right now! What's in it for me? The chance to prove everything you just said about me. That's fine. But I was thinking more like if I beat you, I take your place in the match versus Cena at SummerSlam. Do you want to shut up all the critics and earn your big main event opportunity? Or do you want another handout? All right. To prove to you and everyone else that I've earned everything I've ever gotten, I'll put my spot in the SummerSlam match on the line. That's great. I look forward to taking it from you by giving the WWE Universe something they have seen before. Me hitting you with an R-K-O. What's Triple H doing here? This could get ugly real fast, guys. We're about to have a new man. Wait a minute! AJ Styles might have something to say about that. Why is AJ attacking Triple H? This is career suicide. Some people value friendship over money. A lot of this A game, as you can see here. Here is your winner, Bass. Gonna feel the effects of this win for a while. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. And folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent... Hey, thanks for having my back out there with Triple H. If it wasn't for you, I might have lost my chance to face John Cena at SummerSlam. No problem. I know you don't have many allies on SmackDown, but from now on, you can trust me to be there for you. I saw what you did out there tonight. That took some guts to put your match with me on the line. Honestly, I'm surprised you did. I wouldn't be where I am if I played it safe. I don't take the easy way out, no matter what obstacles are put in front of me, I never give up. Hmm. Interesting choice of words. Yeah, well, that's just how I live my life. For me, it's not just a catchphrase to sell towels. And you think that's all it is for me? I busted my ass for everything I have! And we'll continue to do so until someone has to drag me out of that ring. Guys, you have a match coming up. How about you settle this in the ring? You know what? That's a good idea, AJ. With all this talk about never giving up, how about you put your money where your mouth is? At SummerSlam, how about we make our match a submission match? <laughs> like I said, I don't play things safe. So you got it. I hope you're ready to dance at SummerSlam. Because I'm gonna make you tap. Hey, come on, that's enough. Are you sure that was the right decision? <laughs> no, not at all. I need to start learning some more submission moves ASAP. Hey, like I said before, I got your back at the pay-per-view, just in case Triple H or Randy Orton try to get involved again. Hey, I really appreciate that. You've been such a big help, which is... I hate to ask for another favor, but... Would you be willing to show me the calf crusher? I don't know, man. That's kind of my thing, you know? Can't be giving out all my secrets just in case we have to face each other again someday. Look, I need help if I'm gonna beat Cena in this submission match. I mean, I'll get down on my knees and beg if I have to. Oh my... Stand up. I'll show it to you. Awesome. I owe you one. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll settle up at some point. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. Taking on some tough competition. Gonna settle the score. Oh, man. Now Buzz has Cena and the calf crusher. Cena counters it into the STF. What is Triple H doing? Oh boy, we've seen this before. Yeah, this has Montreal screw job written all over it. He's gonna call for the bell. 
helped AJ Styles stop Triple H from costing Buzz the match. Now Buzz has Cena and the calf crusher. A move he obviously learned from AJ Styles. He did it. Buzz has made John Cena give up to the calf crusher. I never thought I'd see that happen. Unbelievable. For everyone who thought Buzz didn't belong in this spot, he proved tonight. Kurt Angle, now he's seen it all tonight. Despite Triple H's best efforts to impede your progress, you have accomplished amazing things on SmackDown. I've been so impressed that I think the Raw audience also deserves to see what all the buzz is about. So that's why I've negotiated with Daniel Bryan and we were able to agree on a special one-time trade. Sending you to Raw immediately. Well, I can't believe it, but the Raw GM has spoken. Buzz is headed for Monday night. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. I wish I could say good riddance, but we'll be right there with him. There he is, Raw's newest superstar. I was impressed with what you were able to accomplish on SmackDown in such a short amount of time. Kind of reminds me of, well, me. Well, thanks, Kurt. I hope there are no hard feelings that I didn't initially sign with you. None whatsoever. We're just lucky to have you here on Raw now. So what's your plan tonight? Going to sit back and get a feel for things? Uh, I didn't get here by sitting back and waiting for something to happen. No, I guess not. You'll be seeing me out there sooner than you think. And in a very big way. We are gathered here tonight for a very special occasion. To celebrate a milestone that only the most successful television programs reach. That's right. This is the 100th episode of Ms. TV. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. Show some respect for the moment in history you are witnessing. Do you know the kind of blood, sweat, and tears that go into making a production like this week in and week out? No, you don't. Because you've never made one episode of anything, let alone 100. Now, in honor of this achievement, I put together a special documentary recapping the series' greatest moments that I'd like all of you to watch for the next 10 minutes. Please, turn off your cellular devices and enjoy the show. Apparently, this is what Buzz meant when he talked about making a big debut on Raw. This is unbelievably disrespectful to the Intercontinental Champion. But from what we've seen in the past from Buzz, I'm really not surprised. Hey, maybe he wants to congratulate The Miz on making it to 100 episodes. Yeah, I doubt it. What the hell do you think you're doing interrupting my 100th episode celebration? Answer me, damn it! There's your answer! And now the Miz quickly join in on the fight. It's three on one! Skull crushing finale! Plus his big debut on Raw certainly didn't go as planned. Ladies Welcome and gentlemen, to another edition of TV's oh longest running weekly episodic television program, Monday Night Raw. Hello, I am Elias. I've got one question for everyone here tonight. Who wants to walk with Elias? Now, last week we had a newcomer arrive on the scene and challenge The Miz. He quickly learned that in WWE, if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. And when I say WWE, I am referring to the WWE that stands for walk with Elias. We got a new guy here named Buzz, who got beat down by The Miz. 
If you ask me, it's only a matter of time before he's out of the biz. He drives around in an old crappy van like a homeless man. He reminds Elias a lot of all you dirt poor fans. I never thought I'd be happy to see Buzz, but if it's to interrupt Elias' music, I would welcome an earthquake. Seems like Buzz isn't a fan either. Okay, I think I speak for everyone here when I say we've heard just about enough. You know when sometimes you hear a singer at a concert and their voice just isn't quite the same? I mean, that's not the case with you, Elias. You sound just as terrible in person as you do on TV. I mean, I just realized, I don't think WWE stands for Walk with Elias. No, I think it actually stands for We Want Earplugs. You talk a good game, but can you back it up? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I can. And since apparently The Miz is too much of a coward to face me, how about you and I? Go one-on-one, -on -one right here, tonight. Buzz must really want to get beat up two sure weeks in a row. Yeah. I don't know about that, but we're going to have Buzz versus Elias right now. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. We have one of our breakout talents against an imposing adversary. Let's do it. This thing is getting more chaotic by the moment. Uh-oh. The Miz gives Elias his guitar. Buzz gains control of it. And he nails him with the guitar. That'll do it. Here's the cover. Does he have him here? There's one. one. Two. There's two. Three. He got it. What an incredible victory. Buzz somehow overcomes the odds. Somehow, he cheated. Buzz is here on Raw to continue his quest for the Miz's Intercontinental Championship. This might be it. Cover! One, Hooks two, to leg! Kicked out at oh two and man. a half! I thought he had him. Wait, what's Miz doing? What the heck? Why would Miz punch Bo Dallas? Wait a minute! The Miz is a genius. Since he hit Bo, Buzz got disqualified and doesn't get an Intercontinental title shot. The Miz found a way around Kurt Angle's stipulation. I guess you have to give him credit for that. Buzz is obviously upset about how all this transpired. Tough night for Bo Dallas. He'll be fine. And besides, he won the match. I'd hardly call that a victory. Yet again, The Miz finds a loophole to avoid defending the title. I know. I'm just as frustrated as you are. So what are you gonna do about it? I'd like to give you your title shot anyway. But unfortunately, I just got off the phone with Triple H. And he said that since Bo Dallas technically won, you don't get to face The Miz. Triple H can just overrule you like that? Unfortunately, when push comes to shove, he can. And I'm not surprised that he did, given your history with him. All right, well, if Miz and Triple H are refusing to give me an opportunity, then maybe I need to make my own. Opportunity? No. Title. I know a guy who can help me out. You do whatever you think you need to do. Hey, Cole. I need a favor. It's short notice, but... You did such a good job making the titles for BCW that I wanted to see if you could make me a custom title for me to use on Monday Night Raw. <sighs> Fine. I promise to call you more often, not just when I need something. 
All right, I'll email you some design ideas, but one thing I do know is that my title will only be defended in Thanks, man. You're the best. Yes, I still have the lucky keychain you gave me. But I gotta run. Thanks. I am the Miz! And this is my lovely wife, Maurice. Say something to the audience, Maurice. That was wonderful, honey! You truly bring so much to the table and are certainly not just window dressing whose sole purpose of being in WWE is to follow me around from town to town, ironing my weird matrix cloak dress that I wear. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. When my right foot goes in, your right foot goes out. When my right foot goes in, you shake it all about. You do the stupid Miz dance and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Because I'm the Miz and I'm awful. Since apparently our GM either thinks this is funny, which is impossible, or is just not paying attention to his own show, I am this close, this close, to dialing 911 to report two counts of aggravated character assassination. Whoa, 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 Miz. Sasha and I were just having a little bit of fun out here. No need to go overboard. I mean, besides, you didn't even let me get to the best part other than showing everybody how big of a goof you are, the whole point of tonight was to debut my new singles title. You see, since you refused to give me an intercontinental title shot, and then Triple H backed your little scheme with loser Bo Dallas. I was forced to make a title of my own. You created your own title? Wow. What do you think this is? WWE 2K19? This is real life. It's not pretend time. You don't get to make up your titles. In fact, this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. And I've seen your matches on the indies. You want to talk about pathetic? I think someone who refuses to defend their title, that's pathetic. Because even though this championship is brand new, it already holds more value than yours because I'm not going to hide behind it. I'm going to defend it against anyone at any time. All right, champ. I have someone you can defend your made-up title against. Someone who's still waiting for payback for a broken guitar. Like I said, anyone at any time. But you didn't give me a chance to explain that my title has some special conditions for how it must be defended. What do you mean? Like the matches can only be held in high school gyms? Or there can't be more than 200 people in attendance? <laughs> Not exactly. My title will only be defended in ladder matches. We've been waiting a long time for this one. The championship is up for grabs right here. Next, we have one of our breakout talents versus a formidable opponent. Win this match. Even this superstar can do that. Buzz with a W. Wow. Congratulations, Buzz. Here is your winner and still WWE Tri-State Champion, Bass. They proved who the better competitor was tonight. 
There's nothing more pure than picking up a win in a good old-fashioned one-on-one fight. And that's the kind of action we've come to expect here on... You showed up a few weeks ago on my show acting like you own the place. You insult me and my wife and then cut every corner possible by creating your own title. Not to mention forcing Elias to compete with a random stipulation he wasn't prepared for. Well, I am sick of it. You want your match? You got it. My legitimate, illustrious title versus your second-rate imaginary title. At Hell in the Cell, we're done playing make-believe because I'm going to show you what it's like to live in the real world. Buzz has his match with The Miz, so what's Kurt Angle doing out here? I'm glad you two are finally going to face off. One-on-one. -on -one. That's right. Maurice, Elias, and The Miztourage will be banned for ringside. And since Buzz's title is on the line, the match will be held under his title stipulations. Which means... It will be a ladder match. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Coming right up is a match that can change the course of an individual's career. We have one of our breakout talents versus The Miz. Let's do it! You're looking at the first ever superstar to simultaneously hold the Intercontinental title, and for lack of a better term, the Buzz title. Yeah, his carry-on bag just got a little bit heavier. Yeah, if I were the Miz, I, this match would be under protest. It should have never taken place under these rules. Well, it did, and now we have a new champion. You can protest all you want, but it's not going to change what happened. You did it. You finally shut up the Miz. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I did beat him and take his Intercontinental title. That's good enough. But thanks for helping me along the way. We make a pretty good team out there. We did. If you ever need someone to dress up in a ridiculous costume to send a message to one of your opponents, I'm your guy. I'll remember that. <laughs> hey, Sasha, you mind if I have a moment to talk business with the champ? Yeah, no problem. I was thinking about calling myself Champ Squared, actually. You know. Yeah, about that. Not to put a damper on your big victory, but according to WWE regulations, you're only allowed to hold one singles title at a time. I could try to circumvent the rules and let you hold both, but Triple H would just force you to vacate one anyway. You really know how to ruin a party. I'm sorry. So which title would you like to keep? That had to be a tough decision. If it's any consolation, I'll give you the rest of the night to celebrate with both championships. Thanks. Hey, champ. Just wanted to let you know we're wrestling tonight. And it's for the title. Uh, yeah, Kurt actually texted me about it this morning. My dad texted you? He never responds to my text because he says he's not really a texter. Huh. That's odd. Anyway, want a picture together? Uh, sure, I guess. Is this something you normally do with your opponents? Not really. I just thought it would be a nice memento for you to have after you lose your title tonight. That's a keeper. I'll text you the pick. Uh, thanks. Actually, no, on second thought, I'm not really a texter. You think Jason Jordan still wants to take a selfie with Buzz now? Real classy, Byron. What the heck? Do you hear the buzz? It's the sound of the cicada emerging after years of slumber from their underground existence. Just as you have emerged from the underground and made your presence known. Unfortunately for the cicada, when it tunnels its way to the Earth's surface, it only has mere weeks to live before it is eaten by a predator. Well. I am that predator, for I am the eater of worlds. You should have stayed on the ground, my friend, because now I am coming for you. 
<laughs> this has the potential to be a very bad situation for Buzz. <laughs> Hey, not to be weird or anything, but I've been meaning to ask you since you got to Raw. What's up with you driving this retro van everywhere? Uh, it's just what I'm used to, I guess. I kind of lived in it when I was on the indie scene. Kind of? Okay, I, I definitely lived in it when time was tight. And then when I signed with WWE, I decided to uh, fix it up. Keep it running. Interesting. And the Bug logo? Oh, this used to be my dad's work van for his exterminator business. It's pretty much the last thing he gave me. I guess his way of supporting my crazy wrestling dreams. That's cool. I mean, other than the fact that it still kind of smells like pesticide. Well, I think your dad would be really proud of what you've accomplished so far. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Quite a show. You Not hear that again. again! It's the sound of insects buzzing all around us. But unlike you, they serve a purpose. My fireflies light up the night so maggots can seek out and dine on rotten flesh and waste. But you? You're simply a parasite, feeding off of everyone you encounter and giving nothing in return. Your lineage itself was built on someone whose sole purpose was to leave death in their path. To exterminate. And I find that amusing. Because that is exactly what I'm going to do to you. You see, at TLC, you can leave your precious title at home. I'm not concerned with that trivial ornament. What I am concerned with is your demise. Your Extermination. I'm not going to stand here and let you try to play mind games with me. But what I will do is accept your challenge for a match at TLC. What is happening? <laughs> I have no idea, but this is a sick man we're dealing with. <laughs> Luckily, we're not the ones dealing with him. He's Buzz's problem now at TLC. Yeah! Uh, hey, Matt. Sorry to interrupt, um, whatever it is you're doing. What does it look like? I'm rosining my violin bow as one does. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, listen, I've got a match coming up against Bray Wyatt, and I was just kind of hoping you might be able to Give me some advice. Brother Buzz, are you woken? Um, I don't think so. If one is not woken, then there is no hope in combating a force such as the monster you speak of. And even I, who is supremely woken, have lost many battles to him in the Great War. Okay, so how do I become... Woken. That is like asking how your vessel breathes the air. It must materialize on its own. Or there is the technique of a jaunt to the multiverse, but all this rosining about and dispensing of wisdom has given me much weary. I must retreat to my quarters. Good evening, come here. Okay, thanks. I guess. Well, I'm not sure that was very helpful for Buzz. Coming up next up. Oh, up. it's Bray Wyatt. In oh. the face. Uh oh, watch out. Oh, shoulder first. Guys, you don't think. Oh, no, you please. don't think. I can't watch. Not like this. Oh, my God. Uh oh. Is he really gonna do this? This is bad. Oh no. No, oh, this is sick. Sister Abigail! Come on now! Please don't do this! 
Oh my god! What kind of twisted individual would destroy something that meant so much to Buzz? Bray Wyatt would. The man operates under a different set of rules. Uh, I can't believe this. There you see Buzz arriving for his match tonight at TLC versus Bray Wyatt. Yeah, I noticed he wasn't driving his van because Bray Wyatt torched it. And that wasn't just any van. It was a gift from his late father. You have to imagine he'll be seeking revenge on Bray Wyatt tonight. Hey, you probably don't want to talk about it right now, but I'm sorry about what Bray did to your van. I know it meant a lot to you. Thanks. I appreciate you saying that. Wait, 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 wait. Were you gonna hug me because that's your thing, or because you're worried about what might happen tonight? Um, more the second one. <laughs> I'll be fine. The only person anyone should be worried about is Bray Wyatt. Where's Bray taking him? Somebody needs to stop this! Oh! <laughs> 